Script and Moskal here, and in this video we are going to briefly talk about AdSense and then we're going to put Google AdSense uh, onto our website. <clears throat> Let's first take a look at our website. Uh, there are some rather strict uh, guidelines and rules that you must follow to comply with Google AdSense, which is the advertisements on your website. Make sure to check these out before you apply and make sure that you always follow their rules. Google's a great company to work with, so uh, just do what they say. They aren't asking you to do anything you know, that isn't good for you. Um, one of the big things is you can't tell people to click on your ads, obviously. Um, you have to have enough content on your website and anyways this is more for people that already have an account because we're going to create a custom channel and then we're going to grab an ad we're going to use a text ad because we have this ad here at the top that's using the hooks plugin and then we also have this at the bottom uh, this is an affiliate marketing link and so is this so let's go ahead and get started here um, long story short we've taken on a partner with this website and as of the 14th or the 15th rather but we're going to go ahead and get it started we're going to start tracking and splitting the revenue sharing the revenue so new custom channel we're going to say um, <clears throat> we're not going to show it if you click this you have to put a well, I guess we'll go ahead and just we're gonna leave it unclicked uh, just for the time being but if you click this this will give the advertisers that are advertising with Google AdWords they'll be able to see your URL and say yeah I want to advertise on that website or no that website has bad traffic um, the smart advertisers, if you have good traffic to your website, like PPC, pay-per-click advertising, or natural search engine traffic, then you're very likely to have intelligent advertisers pay more money to be advertised on your website. That's what we did as advertisers with Google AdWords. Uh, if you're not familiar with AdWords, I definitely recommend that too. That's a uh, very beneficial thing to use. So we're going to do, we're just going to put a name on it for now. Uh, just so we can start tracking and sharing this will make it a little bit easier <clears throat> so now we go over to add units and then we click new add unit and uh, we're gonna do just for our URL and then we'll put our friend Joe we're working with him and his uh, girlfriend I believe so we're gonna put a text unit in just on the sidebar here and this is a cool Thing. I'm sure you've probably already seen it, but you can see what the ad sizes will look like. There's the dis Maybe I clicked the wrong uh, link. Maybe they've changed things. Um, that's weird. I swear that used to take you to a different page. Okay, so I know what we're doing. We're doing a link unit, and what we want to do is a vertical. It just makes it extra large. We'll see it here in just a moment. And we're going to click this Your Bad Credit. We're going to add it. That's our channel. And then that way, we will be able to track the earnings of this website, and specifically that ad, uh, in a little bit easier fashion than if you just look at all your reports. So all we have to do is click Save and Get Code, and then they're going to pop up this... Uh, computer code just copy it and uh, you do have to close this if I remember correctly before the ad will actually start showing up on your website I'm sorry we haven't even logged in this is a uh, WordPress website whoops there are some guidelines too about how many advertisements you can have on your website and whether it's spoken or an unspoken rule Google seems as I think they should be uh, less friendly if you go crazy and put tons of advertisements on your website I believe I got a uh, penalty um, is my suspicion so we're gonna put this link unit right in here 
And if you have a WordPress website, just throw it into your wi widgets section. And you can type advertisement in up here at the top if you choose. You might want to check out Google's uh, conditions. They're pretty strict about that. They don't want you to encourage people to click on your ads because it's not, you know, that's <laughs> that doesn't benefit the your advertisers, and they only want to pay when they get you know sales and conversions. It makes sense. And as an advertiser personally, I can speak firsthand. Don't like follow Google's rules. They're smart. They're gonna figure it out if you're trying to game the system. So. What we have, the reason our little block just showed up and our ads haven't displayed, is one, it takes a few minutes for Google to get everything caught up, and then our WordPress website, it will help. If you have a super cache or a cache enabled, if it's easy for you to turn it off, go ahead and turn it off. Otherwise, it may take a few hours or potentially even longer. And this will probably take... I'm guessing maybe 10 or 15 minutes before we start seeing the uh, le link units. And the link units are different than, this is like an image. This is the 970, I believe, banner. The link units are just words that are advertisements. It'll say ads by Google. I'll uh, give you an update here in a future video so you can take a look at it. But this will be using two image ads, uh, one link unit ad, and then two affiliate marketing ads, which could be even a little bit too much. I don't know. We'll uh, wait and see. This website has actually been going up in the uh, search engines as it should be here lately, and we can you can visit Dan Moskal University to get some more uh, tips about search engine optimization. Uh, you can also grab a copy of our book, how to create a website easy button available at Amazon and please comment below like this video share it with your friends family and colleagues and let us know what you have questions comments or concerns with we are here to help have a wonderful night and thanks for watching